Welcome to the month of September. Praise God. Woo! Hallelujah. Are you excited? Let me tell you something. Jesus gave us a promise. And what's that promise? He says, Lo, I am with you always. Hallelujah. You know, I love it. He didn't say, you know, we used to say always. No, he said always. Praise God. Meaning, I'm with you all the way. Hallelujah. Praise God. So he's been with us since January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. And now we have stepped into the month of September. Hear me. We are right now having a 24-hour prayer and fasting meeting. We pray at every watch. If you haven't joined yet, come on now. The link is on your screen. Join the next prayer session. And let's make power available for the month of September. Listen to me. God is doing a lot in us. Specifically, as we approach the days ahead, there is a lot of what God is doing in his children that is going to manifest. Now, if you don't see the work of God being done in your life, you should begin to ask yourself truly, am I really a child of God? Yep. Yep. Very important, especially these days because things are closing up. We're getting to the end of all things. Praise God. Right. Now, can we, listen to me, today's the first. You've got to start it right. Praise God. Can we, can we make our demands? Say this with me. Say, Father, today is the first of September. I thank you for it. And Lord, I make a demand for my daily bread beginning from this day and throughout all the days of this month i will never fail to receive my daily bread in jesus name amen praise god hear me what you make up your mind for and stick to it Incidentally, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> Praise God. So, so, so listen to this broadcast, follow us closely, and, and you will begin to pick things that you will apply and you will see tremendous changes in your life. It doesn't matter how this year has been. Hear me, things are about to turn for the better for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hear me, the Spirit of God has gone ahead before you in this month of September. He has looked and he has made every crooked path straight. That means there is no path you are going to walk in if you follow him that's going to be crooked because he has already gone ahead. And that's the job he did, made the crooked path straight. Before he came, there might have been crooked paths. You may have looked on the map and you will see crooked paths. But hear me, he goes on that journey before you. And his reason for going before you is that you'll be treated as a king. You'll be treated as a prince who you are. And his job is to make every part that you had previously thought was crooked, he will make it straight. Praise God. And, 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 and that means, hear me, if you've been having challenges and troubles before this time, it's about to change. It's about to change. If you've been struggling in your marriage, if you've been struggling in your job, with your finances, if you've been struggling with your health, hear me, it's all about to change. Now, when I say about to change, you say, when? I say, now. Praise God, now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, we give you praise for this month of September. Thank you. Thank you for everyone that follows us on this broadcast. Lord, you are bringing a new dimension of faith and grace 
upon their lives. And in this dimension, all needs are being met in their lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I declare right now, burdens are being lifted in your life. Yokes are being destroyed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. I love the word of God. And that's what we're going to be talking about. Praise God. And we've been on a series, The Power of a Renewed Mind. The power of a renewed mind. And I was trying to lay the foundation for the past two days why it's important that the mind be renewed. And that's because God had planned your life already before you were created. Isn't it amazing? Before God created, before Adam was formed, you were created also. So I say, how? Yeah. Because on the sixth day of God's creation, when he said, let us make man in our own image, guess what? That was the day God wrote the book of life. Uh-huh. Yep. And guess what? That day he wrote your name. He wrote your name. So that day he created everything man. He created everybody. Your grandchildren, if Jesus tarries, that are yet to be born, they have already been created. Woo! Wonderful. You know, let, let me tell you something. When I just got married and a few months after we got married, we now, I mean, we were told by a doctor that my wife was not going to be able to um, take in. If she takes in, she may not be able to carry the pregnancy for long. It will always abort. And you know, you know how it is, young couple just got married about, I think that was about a month or two after we got married, you know. So we now, I went before the Lord and I began to inquire of the Lord. Because, cause, cause see, when, when you hear news like that, don't panic. Don't panic. Because before I got married, I knew we're going to have children. I knew I, there were certain things that I never bothered about getting married because those things had been settled in my mind long ago. So when we got this news, I, I began to commune with the Lord, not praying, Father, I reject, I refuse. No, 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 that was not, that was not, our, our, that was not our response in any way. So I began to talk to the Lord and he began to speak to me. And one of the things the Lord said to me then, ah, you know, oh, people who don't have the Holy Spirit, I really wonder how they live. Mm. So he said, he said to me, he said, son, ask me to both of you, Ask me to give you children whose names are written in the book of life. Of course, naturally, I said, okay, Lord, thank you. But then he, he, he began to explain all these things to me. That, hey, I wrote the book of life before man was created, man was formed. And... He said this to me. He said, Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. He said, when, when the Lord finished talking to me that day, I said to myself, I said, It's easy to have children. It's easy. I mean, it's easy. I, I don't understand why someone will panic and, and say, You can't have children. If you want, it's easy. Very easy. Because and, and you see, I'm saying this not because I read a book. I'm saying this because when the Spirit of God is talking to you, He expands your understanding. And when you are done, you bring those things to your mind. Now, you know we're talking about renewing the mind. You bring those things to your mind. And then you look at that situation again. And then you realize, ah, small thing. That's what happened to me. 
Praise God. Because the Lord said, listen, every alabushe ben como kosa praia kataya. He said, I wrote the book of life on the sixth day. That was the day I created every child that will be born into this world. He said, I created them. Then I wrote their names. Then, and then he now said something to me. He said, hey, guess when the book of life is going to be open? At the end of all things. And then he said this to me. He said, listen, the book of life is going to be opened at the end. Because every name that has been written in that book must be born on the earth before that book is open. I was like, whoa, nobody told me this. Nobody taught me this. No preacher preached this for me to hear. <laughs> you know, what we think about the book of life, all we think about is those who go to heaven and those who perish in hell. Ah, beyond that. That's the name that God, so God knows the number of people that were supposed to come on this earth. Question is, uh, is, is, is the earth, you know, is that number? That's another day stop, praise God. But this blessed me so much. And then I realized that I'm, I'm a child of God. I, I'm a seed of God. That means God is so much interested in bringing forth children whose names are in the book of life to me. You want to hasten the day of the end? This is the secret. The last child whose name is in the book of life must be born. If not, that book will not be open. The end will not come. Now that renewed my thinking process. I realize that we're not just here trying to have children. We will just present ourselves before the Lord and He would give us because He is in Haligaburushiyaka. You are here saying, God, where will you give me a child? God is waiting for children to be brought forth into this earth. Now, not every child that is born into the world has his name written in the book of life. Not everyone. But you, a child of God, your children must. I said, that changed my mind. And so I just saw how easy it was for us to have children. Every worry disappears. <clears throat> now, we see, Jesus came. And he said something very instructive. He said something very, very instructive in Matthew chapter 5. And I want, to, I want to show you that scripture. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 17. Watch this. He said, Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy but to fulfill. Now, I just shared a story with you. How the Lord told me how to have children. You know. But listen, hold on to the scripture. Jesus said this, and I wanted to meditate on it, and tomorrow we'll go into it. He says, Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. He says, No, that's not why I came. He says, I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. What does it mean to fulfill? It means to show the reason for. So Jesus said, I, my life is to show the reason for the law, is to show the reason for the prophets. What does that mean? Every prophet that prophesied, wasn't telling a lie. And Jesus came to say, I am here to show you that they were not telling a lie. That's what it means to fulfill. And brothers and sisters, if you are a child of God on this earth, you were born to fulfill the law and the prophets. Our time is up for today. I'm going to go into this tomorrow and trust the Spirit of God to help us. And like I told you, 
If you haven't joined the prayer meeting going on, join us right now. Praise God. Look for the link. Get the next prayer time because we pray at every watch. Get the next prayer time and just join us. Praise God. I pray for you today. As God has said, He has gone ahead of you. Therefore, I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, walk on straight paths. Walk on paths where you will find that the Lord has provided all things for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. Or I'll see you during the prayer meetings. Bye-bye.